Now Cote pinching. This line goes off for a change. No scoring in the first six minutes. The Crunch got a goal in the first period on Wednesday. Now a steal line and score! appeared in more Calder Cup games than J.T. Wyman. In this series, the crunch with so many players. Here's another chance. Nevestikov, right across. Close puck. They say no, now it's in. Barbaria, the last man there. The crunch absolutely swarming the net now. It's 2-0 crunch. Wow. Dave Sikoff. Great speed, keeps moving his feet. I say again, look at him moving his feet, tucking it in, going hard to the net. You see here, look at that, Mark Bavario just follows it up. A D-man coming all the way in from the blue line, reads the play, aims he cuts hard to the net, right to the blue paint. We say every time, go to the blue paint, good things are gonna happen. Barb's following the play up and tucks her home. It's a great follow up by Barb's. Draws the penalty. And another chance for the Falcons. Score! The puck was tipped in front. Cedric did not see it. It's a power play goal. Craig, I think, got a piece in the crease. Main screen on our laptop. Breakaway. Wyman with Angelinas. Score! after that two goal performance tonight. Look at this, head up, wrist shot, top corner. Curtis didn't have a chance on that one. That had eyes, and that was going to the back of the net. You couldn't have picked a corner better than that. Good job by Mike Angelinas driving the net, getting the D to back up too, and JT Wyman's all smiles as he gets a little tap from the players on the bench. And that's a huge goal for the Syracuse Crunch with 2.40 left in the second. Desjardins seals it up. A little extra. Attention, I'm paying attention to what's going on the ace right now. And Bass obviously dropping his gloves, a little frustrated, asking Skip to go. And Skip saying, No, man, it's, look at the score. It's 3 1, 12 minutes left. Got nothing to prove now. Cody Bass had 54 penalty minutes in 18 games this year, and now I just that enough. And Cody Bass finally allows Angelitas to engage. And like I said, I'm not sure if that was a good idea. Tell you what, you don't see Skip throwing too many punches when the other player is down, but Cody Bass had that coming to him, obviously antagonizing him, bringing him on. I imagine Cody's going to get kicked out of the game for this one. This all with just under 12 minutes to go in regulation. The crunch leading at 3-1. Far from over, but it seems in every way, shape, and form, the crunch have frustrated the Falcons here in this conference semifinal. Nick Holden, who played for the Crunch from 2007 to 2010, has the puck down low. What a stop, but the rebound goes in. Andrew Jodry follows it up, and the Falcons are within one. Now Domestikov cutting with Connolly going behind. Out for Termina at his shot block, keeps it in the zone, a second chance. Score! us talking about how good of a player he is or whatnot. Look at Connolly coming around the net. Eyes up, eyes up, sees Taramina. Long shot block, but stays with it. Doesn't give up on the play, gets the puck back. Quick little wrister, blocker side. Four to two, Matt Taramina, what a goal. Elmer got it down low, return feed, side of the net, banging away, and pulled away by Domestikov. Sexton skates ahead, looking at the open net. Seals it for the crunch. Five. 
5-2 with two minutes left in the third. Five seconds. It's another sweep for the Syracuse Crunch. Seven and all. Oh, a perfect Palmer Cup playoff start. And for the second time in franchise history, the Syracuse Crunch are heading to a conference final. In game four, the Crunch five and the Falcons two. Brooms onto the ice at the War Memorial. Two sweeps for the Syracuse Crunch. Three zip over Portland in the quarterfinals. And four zip in the second round against the Falcons. This team has been something special, but even matched up with the Springfield Falcons, the second best record during the regular season across the AHL. I'm not sure too many expected this. A four game sweep and 18 goals against Curtis McElhenney, one of the top goalies in the AHL. The team shake hands, as is the custom. And the Springfield Falcons, who have had a terrific season after missing the playoffs 11 times in the last 12 years. The Columbus Blue Jackets affiliate with only Nick Holden, the holdover from the Blue Jackets days in Syracuse. Andre Palat, 15 points in the playoffs, leading the league. Boy, Eric Nielsen, a special moment for this group and this franchise. Series. And now look at them, they're shaking hands at center ice. I mean, it's something special. Not a lot of sports do that, but hockey's one of them. And it's gruesome out there. Guys are beating, beating each other up every night. Go over there and shake hands. That's a lot of class. And I'll tell you what, it is something special, and we're, uh, we're going to ride it. We're going to ride it all the way to the end. for the Syracuse Crunch. They're headed back to the conference finals for the first time since 1996. The opponent to be determined. But the playoffs will continue in the Salt City. The Crunch advance.